you can now optimize your daily route on the mobile app, and we're going to show you how. In the app, let's look at a route. Check the map tab, and you'll see it's a bit scattered. Probably not in the best order right now. This order would have you running all over. But if you're looking at the current day or a future day, look at the blue bar on the route screen, and you'll see a lightning bolt on the right. Now you'll see this if you have enough stops on the route to warrant optimization. If you just have two or three stops, it's not really enough for this kind of optimization. But for anything more, you'll have this option. Let's look at the map again. Say we decide that we want to start the day with number 10 and finish the day with number 8. Well, on the route screen, tap the lightning bolt. And up comes a screen that says Optimize Route. You'll see the tech, the day, and how many stops you're working with. Then you get to choose Start From and End At. So let's choose the stops we want. Once you've chosen, tap the Optimize Route button and let it process. And now, look at how the route order has improved. And you can save this as default just like before. That's how you optimize using just what you have in the route. But with Google Maps, you can also choose to start or stop the route based on other addresses. For instance, maybe you want to start the day from your house, or a text house, or your office, or even something like a Starbucks. You can do that, and we call those company addresses. The company addresses are something you'll set up on the web portal by going to Settings and then General. There you'll create them, label them, and have them available for when you're optimizing here on the app. To use those company addresses, tap the Route Optimization button, and then Start From. Note that we have two tabs at the top of the screen. The default is Route Addresses, but you can also choose the tab for Company Addresses. So you could start the day at a Starbucks, and end the day at home. Optimize that route, and you'll see that once again it has adjusted to fit what you need. Note that you're not seeing pin drops for these company address locations. You only see pin drops for route stops. But this current optimization is still based on those company addresses that you chose. Let's look at another option here on the Optimize Route screen. Look at the Choose Default button. This will apply to whoever's logged in in this account, not the whole company. It's a default for each unique user. So let's say I'm John, and I always want to start the route from my house and end at my house. Here's how I can set that up so that it's now my default. And it's simple as that. The next time I come into Optimize, I'll notice that it's already starting from and ending around my house. You also have another default option. Maybe you want your default starting point to be the first stop on your route. If that's the case, go to Default Start From and look up in the top right hand corner where you'll see a button that says first stop. Choose that. And we can do the same for last stop. So once we re-optimize, we'll see that those options here are already in place. What if you've already finished a few stops but then decide you want to re-optimize? Well first we'll mark a couple of these as finished just to demonstrate. Click the same lightning bolt, and you'll see now that there's a new option. There's a toggle that lets you choose whether to include finished stops in the optimization. By default, it won't do this. It'll just optimize what you haven't completed, but you can choose that option if you want. Also, please note that Google Maps has one particular limitation. It will only optimize up to 25 stops on a route like this. So you can choose a start and an end plus 25 locations. That's a Google Maps limitation. If you have a route with more than 25 stops and you tap the Optimize button, you'll get a note that says Google Maps will only optimize the first 25. So keep that in mind. So those are the basic ways to optimize your route with Skimmer. We hope you enjoy using it to create more efficient routes.